have you ever seen the motion picture footage of Helen Frankenthaler executing one of her signature large-scale paintings? I have seen several film clips, and in every one, she moves with the grace of a principal dancer. Frankenthaler thinned her oil paint with turpentine to the consistency of watercolor and painted it onto unprimed canvas, which she laid on the floor. The paint soaked into the canvas and the oil spread out, sometimes creating a halo-like effect. She manipulated the paint by pouring, dripping, sponging, using paint rollers, and occasionally deploying squeegees. As well as reminding me of a principal dancer, the other vocation that comes to mind while watching Helen Frankenthaler move around her canvases is vacuum cleaning. The watery colors on the far end of her vacuum wand-like paint applicators are ready to run amok. And she lets them do just that, but with intent. It could have sounded insulting to her if I had ever divulged this impression of mine. Then again, maybe not after I explained what I meant by it. I am sure you have seen many a housekeeper move a vacuum wand back and forth to look busy while passing time during a scheduled period of work. This is not the vacuuming that Helen Frankenthaler appears to be doing. Helen's mojo passed through her painting tools as if they were magic wands. And there are people who move vacuums across carpets and floors with great panache. This is because they are not merely cleaning surfaces by suction. They are using their why to perform their how with ingenuity. This notion would have made Helen smile. A smile I will always love because when I'm in the presence of her work, I feel the joy behind her practice. Damn, she understood pain and she will always be one of my greatest inspirations. Hail Helen. Am I going to get blacklisted for that reference? <laughs>